हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ सेंट थॉमस हाई स्कूल स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड लेसन नंबर थ्री एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर फाइव डेटा हैंडलिंग एंड यस लेसन नंबर फोर दैट इज अ प्रैक्टिकल जियोमेट्री दैट वी विल सी वेन स्कूल रीओपन्स एंड If school will not reopen, then we will go through the video lecture. So here in this lesson, data handling. So in your daily life, you might have come across with various information such as runs in a test matches, number of students in your class, okay, number of subjects, uh, marks that you is at got in your examination. understood so this kind of information information is known as a data okay next graph what is a graph when you represent the data gra graphically or in another words you can say pictorial representation of data that is known as a graph and that first one pictograph you will use symbols to represent the data in this pictograph you can see here number of cars given so one symbol of car is equal to 100 cars here july august september okay here three cars are there it means one symbol it means 100 cars then three cars it means 300 cars so that is a pictograph second one bar graph here bars are used to represent the data okay so representation of data using a bar it is known as a bar graph and uh, here you can see this heights of this bar represent the quantity for each category here whatever information is given that gives a quantity for each category this height and width of each bar will be equal there is a bars with equal width and gap between each bars is also same so this is the bar graph then double bar graph it is same as a bar graph instead of single bar you have to use double bar graph remain uh, remaining all the informations all the details are same like width of bars should be same different uh, sorry gap between each bars should be same next uh, organization of data so data you collected that is unorganized that is called as a raw data and to clear it to draw meaningful interference you need to organize the data systematically here it is given here raw data it is given name of all the subject it is given so which are the subjects arts math science english okay four subjects are given arts math science and english so here you have to make one table first subject art math science and english okay in a art subject how many students are there number of students so how many art is given sorry how many times how many time this art is written here that you have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 it means total number of students are 7 same way you have to count for maths it is a 5 then science it is a 6 and for english it is a 4 okay so here subjects here number of students and tally marks that is a symbol to represent this number of students 
this number of students is also known as a frequency to represent this frequency symbolically this tally marks it is used now how to write tally marks here 7 is given so first you have to draw four stroke vertical stroke and one slant stroke so one two three four and this is the five okay so this one symbol it means five numbers here how many now students are there seven so five you have completed now two remains so two vertical stroke you have to do and this number of students that is also known as the frequency of that subject so what is the meaning of frequency frequency gives the number of times that a particular entry occurs okay here this particular entry occurs seven times here four it is written it means this particularly particular entry occurs four times that is a frequency and this complete table is known as a frequency distribution table next grouping data here you can see here marks out of 15 obtained in maths by 60 student it is given okay now this data is too long so for convenience you have to make groups of observations like 0 to 10 marks, 10 to 20 marks, 10, 20 to 30 marks and so on up to 60. And then you have to make the frequency distribution table of the number of observations that falls in each category. Okay, let's see. Here groups that we have to make 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. And here frequency. It means between 0 to 10. In this first group, how many students are such that who got 0 to 10 marks? So it is a 2 students. Then 10 to 20, 10, 20 to 30, 21. Okay. That is the number of students who achieved between 20 to 30 marks. Here 1 it is given. It means only 1 student is there who got marks between 50 to 60. So this is a frequency distribution table. We have made the group and here it is a frequency. And here it is a tally marks. So 2. It means 2 vertical stroke. Then 10. Then 4 vertical stroke, 1 slant stroke. Again, this is a 5. We want 10. 4 vertical stroke and 1 slant. So, this 5 and this 5. 5 plus 5, 10. So, here 2 times you have to make the tally marks. Such a way you have to make the tally marks for all the frequencies. Okay. Next is the histogram. So, what is the difference between bar graph and histogram? Here you have to use the bars in histograms only also but only one difference is there that there is no gap between each bars. This height will represent the number of teachers, number of students, whatever data. Okay. And width of each bar is also same but there is no gap between the bars. Okay, this is the histogram. So, in the next video lecture, we will start exercise 5.1.